Namaste. It is my pleasure to welcome everyone present to the National Sports Day Assembly. I hope everyone is in good health and is feeling excited about today. For good physical fitness and strength, sports is an integral part of life. Sports makes our lives interesting, teaches us to work harder and pushes our limits to a new high. Sports teach discipline, friendship, leadership, resilience, teamwork and overcoming adversity. It has great importance in every stage of our lives, as a student, a working adult and even later on. Sports is not only about improving our physical abilities, but also developing a great sense of sportsmanship, of how to accept our wins and our defeats gracefully. To begin my today's assembly, I would like to request everyone to join their hands and close their eyes for the morning prayer. Nadaro har so jab jai lado Nishchay kar apni jeet karo Nadaro har so jab jai lado Nishchay kar apni jeet karo We now request our Director Principal, Patrama, to kindly address the gathering on this momentous occasion. Namaste, Namaste Bacho, Namaste Parents, Namaste Teachers. Today we are celebrating National Sports Day. It's the birthday of Major Dhyan Chand, we all know that. And a very great personality who took the game of hockey to absolutely great heights. And today also we've seen in Olympics how our hockey teams have really risen and you know done their very best also so many medals for india very very proud that olympics this time has been a good event for india but i'm only hoping it will get better at tsms children we've always believed that playing sports are a very essential part of your day and you know that your PE periods are the ones you enjoy the most and this pandemic i think has hit us hardest over there where we've not been able to engage in any physical activity I'm hoping that now that you're coming back to school, 
we'll be able to get back to it. But I really appreciate the effort of the student council to take this online video on National Sports Day because an awareness about sports children is very, very important. Awareness about being physically fit. So please take this awareness away from this, uh, from this video today and into yourself and plan to do something that involves physical activity. Whether it's going for a walk, cycling, playing basketball, whatever. You must get in at least 30 minutes of physical activity every day. So that's the promise you need to make to yourself. And we are hoping that once you come back to school, the ground is beautiful. Basketball court is waiting, the cricket pitch is waiting, everything is waiting for you children. Today we celebrate National Sports Day virtually and very soon we will get into our Shri Kail and Sports Day and everything physically. So God bless you and enjoy the day and promise to make physical activity a part of your daily routine. Thank you so much. Thank you ma'am for your inspiring words. National Sports Day is celebrated on August 29th of every year to commemorate the birth anniversary of the hockey legend Dhyan Chand Singh. He put a stamp on the international hockey arena and served his country to reach pinnacle of glory multiple times. There is no one who has reached his level in hockey. Our generation sometimes looks back with a sense of disbelief about the golden era of Indian hockey when India won eight Olympic gold medals in field hockey. We will now present a video about Dhyan Chand, his sacrifices and how he elevated the level of Indian hockey. आइए कार्यक्रम को आगे बढ़ाते हुए मैं वर्चुअल मंच पर अपने विद्यालय की हेड ऑफ स्पोर्ट्स युवा भारती को आमंत्रित करता हूं कि वे आए और आप सभी के साथ राष्ट्रीय खेल दिवस पर अपने विचार साझा करें नमस्ते एवरीवन नेशनल स्पोर्ट्स डे इज सेलिब्रेटेड ऑन द बर्थ एनिवर्सरी ऑफ मेजर ध्यानचंद स्पोर्ट्स इज एन इंटीग्रल पार्ट ऑफ आवर लाइफ्स बिकॉज़ इट हेल्प्स इन डेवलपिंग आवरसेल्स सोशली फिजिकली एंड इमोशनली स्पोर्ट्स इज सो इंपॉर्टेंट for the mental stability of students especially during these difficult times 
I would also like to mention how the students have not lost their enthusiasm and motivation for sports even during the pandemic and have taken every opportunity to continue to be actively involved in games and sports within the boundary of their home. Councils before us have done work that has changed the landscape for students year after year. Following on the tail of ideas such as online sports, we will aim for more competitive opportunities within the school in the form of house competitions, increased inter-school engagement and a more formal pursuit of activities that all of us are passionate about. I hope to prove myself throughout the remainder of the year. We need to work hard and be disciplined in order to be successful. And the greatest example for this is the late Milka Singh. He had a traumatic past which was very hard to overlook, but he never looked back. I hope for all of us to be as courageous and determined as him. Thank you so much. खेल क्षेत्रों में भारतीय योगदान अनुपम है भारत के खिलाड़ियों ने हमारा देश का नाम खूब रोशन किया है जिनमें से एक नाम है मिल्खा सिंह जी हां जब भी हम नाम सुनते हैं तो हमारे आंखों के सामने दौड़ का ट्रैक आता है गत 18 जून 2021 को इनका निधन हुआ है आज हमने इनके लिए एक कार्यक्रम प्रस्तुत किया है जिनमें हम इनके लिए एक नाटक कर रहे हैं इनको श्रद्धांजलि देने के लिए जिसका लेखन तथा मंचन किया है स्कूल के विद्यार्थियों ने एवरी वंस इन अ वाइल कम्स अ पर्सन फॉर हुम स्पोर्ट इज लाइफ एवरी सिंगल एक्शन इवेंचुअली हेल्प्स देम लिव दिस चोजन लाइफ इट इज नॉट जस्ट अ क्वेश्चन ऑफ ट्राइंग बट सिंपली बी दीज आर नॉट ऑर्डिनरी चैंपियंस दे आर लेजेंड्स these legends have redefined sports in india with their courage and dedication today we explore the life of one such legendary individual milkha singh every once in a while comes a person for whom the sport is life every single action eventually helps them live this chosen life it is not just a question of trying but simply being These are not ordinary champions. They are legends. These legends have redefined sports in India with their courage and dedication. Today, we explore the life of one such legendary individual, Milka Singh. Sadi zindagi hui kinni anokhi hai na. Bachpan se lekar ab tak bas aake raho. स्कूल भी भाग के जाता था उसके बाद उन्नीस सौ के समय जब मेरे पापा जी और मम्मी मुझसे छीन लिए गए तब भी पापा जी ने मुझसे बोला भाग मिल गया भाग हर चीज के लिए दौड़ लगाई लेकिन मेरी ये दौड़ एक अच्छी जिंदगी की हो सफलता की हो कब शुरू हो गई मुझे पता ही नहीं चला तू इतने जोश में रहता था इतना उतावला रहता था तो कहां से पता चलता मिल गया जब मैंने तुझे 400 मीटर का ट्रैक पहली बार दिखाया था तेरे को याद है कि तूने क्या बोला था सर जी इसके तो मैं 20 राउंड मार सकता हूं तेरे इसी जोश की वजह से तूने भारत के सबसे तेज रनर शेर सिंह राणा के साथ दौड़ा था भले ही दौड़ते समय तेरे पैर में मोच आ गई थी और तू जीत नहीं पाया था लेकिन तेरा जज्बा तेरा हुनर देश के लिए प्यार सबको दिखाई दे रहा था और मैं विश्वास कर सकता था कि तू ऐसे सौ शेर सिंह राणा को हरा सकता है हाँ पर तू ये मत भूल जब तेरा भारत की टीम में सिलेक्शन हुआ था और तेरा ब्लेजर के लिए नाप दिया जा रहा था तू तो एक दुल्हन से भी ज्यादा शर्मा रहा था सर मुझे एक अच्छे से याद है मुझे जैसे ही भारत का ब्लेजर मिला था ना मैं दीदी को उनके झुमके लौटाने गया झुमके तो लौटाने आया था पर जिस तरह से तूने वो सनग्लासेस और कोट वगैरह पहन रखा था ना मैं तो पहचान ही नहीं पाई कि ये मेरा मिल क्या है पर जो भी है मैंने तुझ पर बड़ा गर्व है क्या हुआ मायूस क्यों है झुमके झुमके ना बेचती तो तुझे बेल कैसे दिलवाती मैं हाँ जेल में छोड़ देती बुरे से बुरे वक्त में तूने मेरा साथ नहीं छोड़ा तो मैं तेरा साथ कैसे छोड़ सकती हूँ मिल्किया मेरा मिल्किया हमेशा मेरे साथ रहा है 
हवाओं को भी चीर के है दौड़ता बाणों से निकले तीर सा वो आखिरी उम्मीद आखिरी सांस तक न हारता दहाड़ता वो शेर सा वो सैनिक मेरे देश का वो सैनिक मेरे देश का मिल्खा सिंह मिल्खा सिंह एक महान शख्सियत जो इतिहास के पन्नों में सदैव दौड़ते रहेंगे हमें आशा है कि आप सभी को प्रेरणादायक व्यक्तित्व मिल्खा सिंह जी पर हमारे सहपाठियों की यह प्रस्तुति अवश्य पसंद आई होगी खेलों का जिक्र हो और 2021 के टोक्यो ओलंपिक्स की बात ना हो ऐसा तो हो ही नहीं सकता जिसमें हमारे देश ने इतने नए कीर्तिमान स्थापित आइए लेते हैं इनका भी एक ब्यौरा टोक्यो ओलंपिक्स 2021 इंस्टिल्ड द फीलिंग ऑफ पेट्रियोटिज्म अमंगस्ट ऑल इंडियंस वी विटनेस द इंडियन एथलीट्स टू द अनथिंकेबल विद लिमिटलेस करेज एंड पैशन फॉर द स्पोर्ट द इंडियन टीम ब्रॉट होम सेवन मेडल्स व्हिच इंक्लूडेड अ गोल्ड मेडल Two silver medals and four bronze medals. A wise person once said, "It takes years of hard work, innumerable sleepless nights, and immense dedication to reach the top." We know the achievements of our Olympic athletes, but we are not aware of the challenges and sacrifices. India captured the first gold medal in the Olympics after 121 years. 
Neera Chopra secured the gold medal in javelin throw with a remarkable throw of 87.58 meters. In 2019, Neera Chopra suffered a career-threatening elbow injury. He underwent surgery and came back stronger than ever. He was sure that he would get go- the gold medal even when he hadn't recovered properly. His incredible willpower is an inspiration to many. Neera Bai Chanu secured the silver medal in the women's 48 kg weightlifting tournament. Neera Bai participated in the Rio Olympics as well but could not live up to the expectations. She suffered from mental health diseases and various injuries at that time. She even contemplated quitting the sport. Fortunately, that was not the case. She made a huge comeback and we salute her courage. The country is proud of you, Neera Bai. Ravi Kumar Dahiya won the silver medal in men's 57 kg freestyle wrestling category. Some of his other achievements are bronze medal at the 2019 World Wrestling Championships, two-time Asian champion, silver medal at the 2018 World Under-23 Wrestling Championship in Bucharest. He aims for the gold medal at Paris 2024. We wish him the absolute best. P.V. Sindhu became the first Indian sportswoman to win two consecutive medals in an individual Olympic event. She secured that silver medal in the Rio Olympics and won the bronze medal at the Tokyo Olympics. P.V. Sindhu caught everyone's attention when she defeated the Olympic champion Lee Jurai in 2004. At the age of just 17, Sindhu became one of the top 20 players in the world. We wish you all the best. The men's hockey team won the bronze medal at the Tokyo Olympics. India captured an Olympic medal in hockey after 41 years. The women's hockey team also made the country proud as they reached the semi-final of the event. Lovlina Borkov won the bronze medal in the women's boxing welterweight category at the Tokyo Olympics. She is the third ever Indian boxer to ensure a podium finish at the Olympic Games. More power to Bajrang Punia captured the bronze medal in the men's 65 kg wrestling category at the Olympics. He has already won two gold medals in the Asian Games as well as the Commonwealth Games. He made the country proud yet again. These Olympic athletes overcame obstacles and worked as hard as possible. The pandemic which emerged in 2020 was also an obstacle to many, especially students who were not able to go to school. We hope that these hard times end soon and we're able to experience the joy of sports thoroughly. I now invite the Vice Head of Sports, Adhiraj Mohan Channa of Class 11 to say a few words. Namaste. My name is Adhiraj Mohan Channa, the Vice Head of Sports of the Shira Millennium School, Noida. Students throughout the school I missed the sports aspect of our school during this pandemic. It's hard to stay motivated during these tough times. But what defines a true sports person is their motivation to achieve their goals. The special assembly was a dedication to the memory of the flying Sikh, Milkha Singh, who left us this year. He was a true legend and inspires the entire school to reach greater heights. His legacy is unmatchable. This event has been a huge success. Thank you to all the teachers, our director principal, Putra ma'am, our vice principal Pia ma'am, Ramanjit ma'am, Aparna ma'am, the student council, the participants and everyone else for organizing this event. I hope this pandemic ends soon and we are able to experience the joy of sports in our school like we used to a few years ago. Sports is more than just winning or losing. It's about building character. I would like to end with a quote. Sports is all about dreaming, believing and achieving. As we have mentioned before, that the TSMS students always keep their spirits high. Even during the pandemic, we continued to excel in the activities within the boundaries of our homes. Here, we present to you a glimpse of various fun-filled activities organized during the last year to keep our Josh high.
Fridays. I now request the amount to deliver the vote of thanks. Namaste to all children, parents and teachers. Thank you for joining in today for the special assembly on National Sports Day. As we celebrate the birthday of Major Dhyanchan, a legendary figure in sports, let's also pay tribute to the Singh, whom we lost this year. At TSMS, we always endeavor to give physical activity a very important space in the curriculum that we follow. And this sports day, children, let's pledge to keep the sportsmanship spirit high amongst all of us. A big thank you to the Student Council for organizing this wonderful assembly. Thank you to the PE team, ably led by Kalpana Ma'am. Thank you to all teachers, Monica Ma'am, Dikti Ma'am, Gayatri Ma'am, Rakhi Ma'am, and of course, Rita Ma'am for helping in creating this wonderful, wonderful show. Thank you, Imran sir, for helping the live streaming of this event. And thank you, each and everyone who has put their effort to make this event a wonderful event. Thank you so much. God bless your children. Have a nice day. Namaste. Now, I request everyone to stand up in their places for the national anthem. Thank you. 